fashion. Go into fashionista, guys. You you're totally missing out on the I don't, giraffe neck. I have totally never looked at like what place was what. Just hold down the F key. Just go back. You can see it. It's just right in front of you. Fashionista. Oh, okay. Fashionista. Go, just go inside. Check out that lady's neck. Just embrace that <laughs> neck oh, for God. a second. <laughs> that is pretty crazy. That. Matt, you so crazy. That is just kind of weird, actually. I'm I'm scared now. It's like the best in-game mall since Postal 2. <laughs> Dude, no, you you haven't played Dead Rising, have you? Eh, it's okay. And we're gonna go live, guys, right the frick now. All righty. This is our grand finals of the Brink TV 5v5. We have looking for a sponsor facing off against, of course, it is the Quake Wars uh, fan favorites, Hubris. And let's go ahead and run the rosters. Matt, if you please run over a hubris for me. Ooh, not in game. Okay, we oh. got uh, Crow <laughs> at Melikagu running uh, the medic class. You've got Raz and Matt as NG, Chump as Soldier uh, on. Okay, wait, you can run the other roster. Alright, it's going to be uh, Gnome and TM on medic. Wiz, Rob Wiz as the lone NG, but we've seen him before. He's very, very capable at that. And two soldiers. Holly and Michael 3D, and of course, two soldiers, not a bad idea at all when you have this initial uh, destruct objective. I'm kind of curious about the Holly, lack of, uh, okay, there we go, out to Holly operative. going operative for this hack that opens up a very nice route. Yeah, that lower route is a great distraction, if nothing else, and I'm actually going to see if I can look at it from the other end. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I, I've flown around, I don't think I can fly through these doors yet, there's no clipping for specs, unfortunately. But, um, Holly, trying to hack away. And not getting a lot of aggression, all things considered. He's got, oh, Crow's up top. Holly's taken down. That hack is whack. And that's going to be a bit of a reset there, as far as the line of scrimmage, because we got Crow and Matt up top. I can't see shit, Captain. But yeah, everybody coming from down below, we're kind of expecting that door to be open. It's not going to happen, and this is going to be a bit of a shootout. Wow, are you seeing this? They pushed up. Yeah. Normally, you, don't, you only see this on pubs. This is the first time I've seen this actually in a match. They have all pushed up to this upper area, this sort of bridge uh, overpass. You mean hubris? Um, yeah. Yeah, hubris. And wow, we got a great toss of Molotov. Every single uh, looking for sponsor goes down. L4S and uh, it eats a lot of damage while being planted. Yeah, that's that's completely one-sided right there. And that being said, uh, we've never actually spec this map, so I'm still I'm learning some camera angle, guys. Uh, please bear with me as I uh, try to learn good ways to, to show off the match here. Hubris holding down the fashionista. <laughs> Tactically sound decision. Yeah, well, you know, they, they want to stroke that neck. Embrace the neck. Yeah. You might want to say they don't want to stick their neck out. Uh, oh, I got a hack continuation. Got on the door again, but taken down very quickly by Matt. Matt had to put himself out of position. Started to take a little bit of aggression as he was headed back up, but nothing capped him in the butt. So he's back in a good top tier position. Can rain down the pain. And L4S is still trying to hold down the fort on the bottom tier. But as you can see, that doesn't go all that well. They have just got bros. such good crossfires. They hail down the fire from like three angles at minimum. <laughs> it looks like looking for sponsor is kind of ignoring the um, the hack objective for now as Holly just goes back to being a soldier. They're going to be yeah. pushing up top and trying to go through Fashionista. I was just about to mention that class change up there. So that being said, they are making a pretty nice push through, I hate to say it, Fashionista. Um, they're about to round the, the They're going into good corner. now. Alright, they've made it out of good. They are in uh, Hennessy. Okay, they didn't really even try to hide the, uh, the brand name they're taking there. Yeah. They are in Hennessy. Uh... Yeah, I'm actually watching Holly as he makes his push in. And there we go. Looks like Hubris Chump will be able to hold down the main doorway. This is kind of the main entrance, I would say, for this objective. Uh, although, that being said, Rob Wiz is one of the last men standing, trying to use cover. Able to take down Milikagu, who will probably self-revive here. He's got a pip. Shot in the face, and there's the self-revive. And he does not go down, so he'll be able to recharge 
Uh, and he'll get a little bit of eleven. There it is. So Holly is hacking again the the door. So actually, this was a pretty effective maneuver. They pushed Heavers back, and I imagine we're going to see. Let's see if I can get over there. I'm not sure which player Holly is. There it is. He's got a pretty clear hack because uh, looking for sponsor really pressed in and, and uh, contained Hubers, had them collapse back in on the objective, and now this lower door is open. This opens nice. up a passageway. Holly's going to have to uh, try to take this command post. It allows him to change classes off of operator who no longer needs to be an operative. And uh, so we're going to see him uh, capture right about now. There it is. Did not change classes, no though. Maybe, maybe he wants to uh, spot mine. So let's, let's see what he's going to do here. Oh, he's gonna he die. Wants to announce his presence first. Yeah. He yeah. Ask people to give him down. Though. So it yeah. was an epic class switch that cost him his life. <laughs> <laughs> if I could only be a soldier. Well, we got two guys in Fashionista. It's Rob, Wiz, and Gnome. They're pushing up. It's uh, an NG and a medic right now. They're My Michael is in the room. Yeah, wow, they regrouped the TM and that Michael. Turret. Oh, they eat. The down. What a plant. painful mine. We, yeah, we, we need we need to plant badly. They're yeah, no plant yet. Michael, is he up? Yeah, Mike 3D is up. He's staying on the bottom level. Yeah, yeah, no, God, man. He's putting up the e the escalator. So oh, an elevator. nice flash. This should be a good move up the escalator. Hubris is down here in full force, though. Holly's down. Mike is one of the last guys up. Mike 3D. He is falling back down this escalator. Yeah, Matt coming around the corner. Um. So yeah, that'll, that'll pretty much yeah, shut that down. But, but that being said, um, the next spawn wave for L4S is starting to move in on the main entrance. Yeah, we're seeing uh, it's Gnome and Robwoods again moving together. They're pushing up through this fashionista. They're up to the glass doorway that overlooks the objective. Ooh, um, this they, is a great little thing because you can see what's going on while it, under the protection of that impenetrable glass. That being said, you have to really watch your angles in there because uh, I'm going to fly out to, to show something off here. If you're standing on this side, you can get a guy that creeps around and gets an angle on you from all the way over here. If he's really careful with his aim, he can pick you off. So it's a very hard angle to uh, to catch, but very effective. And and he's usually pretty well protected from any sort of incoming fire. All right, so. Huber's holding it off. That being said, they are pushed back to defense on the tree now. Um, are they going to push up through Fashionista and Hennessy? No, they're going to stay in the objective room. Looking for sponsor, quickly retakes Hennessy. Uh, Holly looks like he's going to push around on the escalator, going up against Raz. Takes out Raz, he's going to push up the escalator, so watch out for that flank. Yeah, I'm watching Michael 3D trying to press in. Alright, here Matt. comes the flank Ouch. from Holly though, taken down really quickly. Um, Matt's turret is actually in a really good space. I mean, look at this, you can't even see it coming up the escalator until you get up to the very top, just about. Indeed. That's crazy. Oh yeah, God, that is a pretty good spot. And and of course, your attention is going to be like I, I, when I come up here, I, I do tend to whip around to the left. Um, yeah. Or even behind you, God, because somebody could sit right yeah, back up. Yeah, yeah, you, you can perch up here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 really scary, like using that escalator route when you don't know if the room is clear. You're like, well, let me close my eyes and cross my fingers. That being said, Hubris is hold off yet another attack wave. 12 minutes, 15 seconds on the clock. And we've seen, uh, I mean, I, you know, I, I felt like they had a moment where they, they really could have gotten a plant L for S. Um, Holly getting completely blindsided. That being said, we do have Rob Wiz sneaking in, taking down uh, Raz's turret. He's going to face against two Chump and Matt will double team him. Down he goes. Um, so a little bit sporadic, I would say, at this point for L for S. Yeah, Matt. they're getting scattered, they're getting staggered, they need to regroup, get some of that uh, those con uh, concentrated pushes together, and really just, you know, do s get some of that teamwork going. They've been a little bit spread out. I think, as I've said that, we're getting a push here that is synced. We got Mike and TM pushing below, uh, okay. and Holly. We got three men coming below. Oh, Holly's actually coming up. He's going to go into Hennessy. Duels Crow, takes down Crow. Um, so we got... One going through the bar, two going through Fashionista, and two going below. Yeah, I'm gonna follow the below attack as soon as the. Oh, they've actually thing switched it up. They they fall back from below. They hop up. They're going through Hennessy now. Oh yeah. Um, the... Okay. This is good. They Holly blows away Melikagu. Absolutely oh, destroys respawn him. Respawn wave is up though, so they gotta push quickly to get Hubris off their toes. Yeah. And really, once you do make the plant, Hennessy is the place you want to be to cover the plant. Period. Indeed. 
I just want to toss this out there. The shop down below the escalator is called Econom. That totally needs to be the name of a real place. That is awesome. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, we've good. still like got a major push coming up here from Gnome, but Gnome being the, the Rambo medic is not going to be getting a lot done. Chump, though, he's in, he's close, but we still got so many Hubris players to take care of. Michael 3D Michael. has taken down Chump and Matt's turret, and once again, this is clear, and plant, we're plant, seeing plant. a plant. Here it comes Melika Goo. Oh, Michael 3 decides. Back. Yeah, he decides to try to defend himself. Raz is able to clean him up. And uh, actually, no, excuse me, Melika Goo gets the kill. Look at this. Rob Woods coming in from the other side. It's going to be a push from with the Krillco. Holly. And he's taken down, but that's L4S to And open. he's yeah, got it. Get the distract. There we go. Now they just need to defend. He tries to get back to Hennessy, but he's going to be knocked oh, on down. And we have oh. two NGs on the defuse. There it yeah. is. Very solid, though. Um, so, yeah, you know, we, we saw the first plan at around 942, I guess it was. 945, so just a little uh, tip of the time there. Yeah. We got another push through Fashionista. I'm going to shorten that to Fashion. Because I shorten everything. I like Fashionista. It's just such a good name. I'm going to even call it Fash. Hen, Fash, Eska, no, or no, no, you know, when, no. when you're when you're when you're feeling friendly later. Just, just quit. <laughs> I revoke your your pun privileges, sir. <laughs> Never. All right, Michael 3D. I have to say, Michael has been the uh, playmaker. We're seeing again. Uh, it's a keep down push here. It's Rob Wiz and Gnome. Me. They're working well together. Time, but he's okay with everybody else shooting him. He's not quite as okay. Yeah, <laughs> less okay with the bullet holes. Crow is down. Raz is down, and it is Michael 3D again making uh, the plays. Uh, uh, Holy uh, shit balls! And he's going to go straight for this. Though. And Melikagoo. Oh, and wow. Matt. He's going up against Jesus, Amber. tap dancing Christ. That angle by Melikagoo was totally worthwhile. And off the revive, he is taking down players left and right. Yeah. All right, we got a four-man push here. Uh, looks like Rob Boys and Gnome sticking together. TM and Mike 3D uh, going below. Where's Holly? He's up somewhere. Oh, no. He's just got destroyed by Melikagoo and jump outside of Fashionista. Big push coming in from the fashion side. And that is three down and out. Easily defended Melikagoo at this point is gunning for Raz's most kills award, I have to say. He's racking them up in the last few seconds. Yeah, Chump and Melikagoo uh, are having a really good sort of uh, crossfire and skirmishes here over in the Fashionista area. Yeah, and, and look, look how well they're moving together. It's like, okay, I'm gonna move here, you move there and they're always moving in tandem and it's just really fantastically done i mean that, that is how you play pro esports folks all right tm michael 3d they're gonna push up the uh escalator here again rob was a gnome pushing through fashionista Ooh, oh, from behind though crow gets the flank gets double teamed and will be pulled down but that being said he'd probably offset the timing slightly we're seeing a switch up michael 3d and uh looks like they're gonna go through hennessy yeah, the push looks like it got re yeah reconcentrated over to Hennessy. They're, they're they're moving around. Um, they're getting some good progress here. Mike's getting some kills. Oh, he gets taken down. Rob and TM still up though. Uh, looks like he's revivable. They got the revive. Yeah, no. Oh, push Nate up on the face. They're getting oh, numbers. They're oh, getting that looks numbers. so painful, man. Look at that. Look look at Michael 3D. He's like floating in the air. His face <laughs> just unable to face his death. All right, here we go. Holly is pushing in. Will he get a plan off before Chump and Melikagoo get inside? They're getting shot at. No one's there to help. No oh my oh. god, what a beautiful toss. Don't get the revive, but no, actually, the soldier is gibbed on out. Ouch. Yeah, nice nice Molotov action there. Fantastic stuff. Now, just, just to be clear, um, the objective here is to blow up this tree, this big fucking tree, which is... Uh, currently host to a helicopter that crash landed um, sort of hilariously and uh, rather than you know missile harmlessly exploding out at sea uh, but what, what happens is the helicopter drops to the floor and an escort bot picks up the uh, uh, cargo from the helicopter and then you have to escort it all the way over to uh, 
a, a hack point, and then the hack point's your final objective, so. But I don't think we're even going to see the escort objective at this point. I mean, I think we're going to see another plant, maybe, but I think Hubris has this unlocked pretty solidly. Yeah. yeah, it's it's been all over the place though. There's been some really good pushes by left for S. They just can't maintain a presence in this room long enough. Hubris just doing such a good job reinforcing constantly. Well, th oh. th this is one map where I feel like again, you know, as Jahar's been saying, plus five. If you add five seconds, five five seconds, seconds. to this respawn timer, or maybe I don't know seven, it would really shift the ability because essentially uh, Hubris is able to restock after getting rolled even in this room with a yeah. respawn quick enough to get a Molotov off to stop a plant. And that should not happen. There should be essentially more of a penalty for death. I completely agree. So. But hey, the, the game that we're going to be seeing, um, you know, come August is going to be a completely different game than we're seeing right now. Oh yeah. In, in many ways. Absolutely. Oh, we got a plant. There we go. I called it. Another plant hey. is down. Immediate disarm, though. Nades going to be late. Oh, it does oh, not grab no, no, off no, the no, down. Matt's going for the Oh, a double nade. Is there He's getting a revive. Is Rob Oh, no, no, no. He shot in the head. Him. He is shot in the head. Holy Throws shitballs. Like, fuck. Oh, and my God. Matt, though, is going to get there though. in time. Yeah. He's going to finish it off. All right. Oh, the Molotov is just a little bit too late. And we are that back to a reset. Though. Four minutes remaining. Oh, here we go. Big push by uh, looking for sponsor. That threw him off. They're getting down another plant. Oh, another right. beautiful oh, Molotov. Oh. And this is the problem I'm saying right there. God damn it. That, that should not happen. There should have been at least two more seconds, if not five more seconds, for the defense to have a chance, or sorry, rather the offense to have a chance to plant and set up. Yeah. It, just, you know, minor little changes like that. It, you know, I, I think people have. I, um, a lot of talk I've seen on the forums and in chat, people are expecting these huge balance shifts. No, really, it really seems to be like adjustments to spawn times would, would be Little tiny sufficient things, yeah. for the most part. I won't lie, I, this map is so pretty. <laughs> So many things to look at. I, I love the color, I have to say. Yeah. I, I, I do like that color is back in shooters. They were definitely right about that part. Wow, and Hubris is just completely taken over. I mean, L4S has lost a lot of their own. Uh, oop, nice. <laughs> Try to plant that grenade, but you're going to get a. Plant that mine, but you're going to get a grenade in the face. So, a map like this. I don't know, guys. What would you say about 6v6? Would that help the situation for an offensive team, or would it hamper it? Yeah, having like an extra medic or something on, on D, or even worse, an extra yeah. engineer. Another person on a crossfire. Like... Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it still comes down in my mind to, you know, five more seconds. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it is going to turn out to be minor adjustments like that are going to have pretty huge shifts in gameplay. Uh, to make things a bit more offensive, and, and it's a shame. I, I was hoping that you know, right out of the gate, maybe like um, respawn times could be configurable, um, you know, from a script or something. Side, yeah. yeah, that would have been really nice. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. I mean, again, yeah. the game's only been out for you know two weeks now. So two weeks? No, or, uh, I guess, one week. Well, a week and a half. Week and two days. I don't know. It seems seems Last longer. Because they've been doing days. so goddamn it's been 12 much. Days. Okay, twelve days. Like okay, that. much or more. Maybe still than, uh, Either way, uh, not quite anyway. two weeks. How how would you say that? But yeah, no. I, I mean, I, I feel like you know, give it another month maybe, and we'll see something pretty damn amazing. Yeah. Not to not not the least of which is going to be a patch from splash damage um, come June. Uh, for those that aren't aware, there's going to be free downloadable content offered by Splash Damage for this game, including maps. Uh, and my hunch is, and I hope I'm right, my hunch is that we're going to look at uh, maybe some very sort of competitive maps. Uh, so I would venture to say that um, maps like this were really meant to be kind of... Um... Oh, I got a plant going. 
And yes, plants down. Yeah, nice. nice. And within time too. Matt disarming though. So where are the epic nades? It's gonna oh, be Holly you were saying. Damage. And Holly actually makes that happen, but Raz might be able to finish this thing off. Yeah. Because Crow is there to get the Raz. There we go. But that being said, um, you know, patch, patch and downloadable content from Splash Damage to hopefully fix a few of the issues that are still outstanding. Um, most notably, objective time on the scoreboard for specs, or on the HUD for specs. Um, definitely need to fix that one. Uh, we need to add the ability for Jahar to kill half a team with a nade. Because <laughs> uh, clearly just killing one person is not enough. Yeah. No, it was definitely enough for me. Definitely. <laughs> We're safe for now. Well done, man. All right, guys. So this is going to be uh, telling at the very least. Hubris, the favored team from the days of Quake Wars is going to be on offense this time around. Right, let's take a look at the awards we have. Best overall, Melika Goo. Oh, man, he earned it. Most kills, Michael 3D, though, with his uh, beautiful flanking action and several plants. Best operator of Holly. Rob Wiz comes in as best engineer. Medic, Melika Goo again. And best soldier, Michael 3D, with his multiple plants. Disarmed, but still planted. Very nice. Now, Matt, uh, if you had to, to sort of size up what you hope to see out of uh, Hebrus in terms of an attack? What what would you? Uh, what's on your wish list? Um, kind of what uh, what, what L4S was doing was really effective. They were having synchronized pushes from two, sometimes three different places. Um, they got a little bit messier with time. Um, I kind of want to see the same thing out of Hubris. Actually, they they. It's really hard. There really wasn't anything that the the offense did wrong that last round. It was just um, all about what the defense was doing right, and the defense was just winning skirmishes, having slightly better crossfires, um, and just going into team fights with advantages. So, yeah, I, I hope that Hubris sort of does has very similar sort of strats to, to looking for a sponsor, and hopefully um, they're able to win just a little bit more of their engagements. It really came down to just. Sometimes it'd be like uh -oh. a two-on-two -two engagement over a fashionista, and uh, yeah, found the spectator was issue. able to win them. What's that? <laughs> um, if you got to the chopper, you can fly it yeah. off, off the map. Yeah, I wasn't gonna mention that, but you can no clip from there. Yeah, yeah. Oops. You can fly through the roof awesome. on fashionista. Just throwing that out there. Okay, the uh, the spawn side for the defending team here, the Veloets Soup and Salad Bar. Have you been through there? That is a fucking stupid salad bar. Heck yeah, dude. I would so hang out there for days. Like, well, it totally I, looks I like, like the Croco. place. The Sea Harvest Company, I don't know what it's about, but they are they have some nice interior decorators. I mean, these are some restaurants. You you better be, like, blowing a senator or something in order to get in here. Going live. Yep. Hubris, the Quake Wars dominant powerhouse. I'm looking for a sponsor, um, a top... Call of Duty um, slash a lot of vets from Quake Wars. Uh, so let's yep. see what can happen. Let's see what we can uh, see happening here. Looks like they already have operatives going lower out. Looks like uh, it's going to be Chump. Yeah, sporting the COVID, uh, excuse me, operative kit. A nice looking plaid shirt and some crazy face paint. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I love that fish. Crow is hiding up by Hennessy. He wants to be on spot when the time comes to push. But oh, Dude. that grenade nearly takes him down. He's going to be getting a lot of aggression. Stuck in that corner, he's not going to have anywhere to go. I I'm kind of bothered here because L4S is not stopping Chump from hacking this open. This is going to be open yeah. unopposed. Uh, they're, they're, they're losing people. Uh, yeah, th there we go. Finally. Finally gets a kill, but... That's 50%. Yeah. The thing is, those looking for sponsors getting cracked. Uh, even though, you know, they're getting some kills, they're getting taken out pretty, uh... Yeah, Rob Wiz and we've got Gnome up at the moment. We've got Mel and Raz spawning back up. Hey, guys, did you know that multiple enemies have been spotted? Yeah, yeah I just, just heard... Just go heard figure! About that. Yeah, apparently it's, back, uh... Guys. Yeah. But look at this, L4 is, is kind of playing the same tack that Hubris did last time, wanting to push forward uh, past the first hack objective. 
and nice crossfire against down the pain. Yeah, that was really nice. Because this is a really good place for it. Yeah. So while while it took a second, uh, it looks like they finally got attention that they don't want to open that lower channel. I don't know if you channel. see this, but Crow is holding a long rifle right now. Well, maybe switching over. Actually, just went back to command point. Yep, got a carb nine. So momentarily had a long rifle. Then he realized the carb nine. Is uh, Matt one. though, Matt's got a little something. Oh yeah, Matt's got the long rifle. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, this is a good map for the rifles, to be sure. That being said, Melikaku picks up a pair of Holly answers, but uh, at this point, we're seeing a pretty solid push. Michael 3D though getting a pair against Matt and Melikaku, shutting that down. So uh, you know, I, I like what El Fres is putting together with their um, with their crossfires. And what, what the hell is this place name? The GWD or something? It's good. Oh, G-O? Those are O's or something? I, I think they're U's, but two U's. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Alright, good for it. Um, yeah, so, you know, Hubers at this point, I, I, I liked the fact that they were pressing that lower uh, doorway, but three minutes have burned away, and still no progress since the initial attempt. Um, God, Boots is bringing up last night again. I, I've already said a thousand times I was sorry. Well, it's not anything you could control. I mean, it had to be sort of disconcerting uh, to experience it. It was funny yeah. that you managed to kill someone, though. That being said, um, Hubris... Yeah, it was funny. Oh, my goodness. TM able to get a kill off of Matt. He will self-revive. I'm sure... Not so sure. Rob Waves will shut him down. Lazarus is going to get up both these guys. Raz goes down, but he'll be revived. So Hubris is pressing through Fashionista uh, with a pretty decent pace here. 16 minutes, 20 seconds on the clock, and Gnome is going to be the guy holding down the fort out the door. Multiple enemies spotted. Yeah, th this does seem like a map where a sneak plant isn't really going to be doing you a lot of good because the objective is between you and the enemy spawn anyway. Yeah, not well, like... not to mention that the enemy spawns fast enough where they can disarm that thing four times over. Right. Uh, it's not like, you know, older maps where the objective is actually behind the enemy spawn. Here comes Crow coming through Hennessy and getting shut down by TM. Holly was there to clean up in case it needed to happen, but no cleanup in aisle four today. That being said, uh, let's go see how we're doing with this lower hack oh, doorway. No. Uh, Hubris making some good progress, taking over this first part of Fashionista. My problem right now is sort of the weapon loadout. I don't know if I agree with the, the long rifle with Matt. He's not really getting very many kills. Yeah, with he really isn't, I've noticed, sadly. Now, uh, Matt, have you played around with those rifles? I mean, have you... Um... I have. They're good, but I feel like they're a little bit favored towards pubs. Um, I really think an SMG, especially on the offense when you're trying to make pushes, you're trying to get, you know, just, just put the other team, throw them off their, uh, sort of their defensive positions. I feel like a long rifle sort of slowly pings away at them. Holly whereas... flanking. Chump doesn't see it, but still is able to take him down. Good lord. It only leaves Raz up, uh, along with Melikagu, in order to continue this yeah, push. It's, it's TM and Mike 3D. Oh, actually, Rob and Gnome just spawned in. They're going to flank in here through the uh, the side hallway into Fashionista, taking out the push. Yeah. Ouch. So the best yeah, that's a rough angle, to be sure. So now we've got all five on looking for sponsor. Yeah, for the Matt's the just hanging in, back. Uh, see, now is the time to go get yeah. the hack done. Right yeah, now. exactly. That's exactly what uh, what L4 has did last time that worked out fairly well for them is that they decided, okay, we're being hit down heavy before the hack. Let's take the, you know, Let, the attention back towards it. the main objective and then we'll no have all the still? time in the world. We have yeah. no operative on Zebra. Oh, there we go. Uh, Melody no, no, just changed. Just switched over. Just to changed. I'm going to wait course, for him. Hubris is going to know that too. I mean, I'm sorry, L4 is going to know that too. Well, he's there and he's hacking. And he's getting shot in the ass, shot in the face, shot in the ass again, shot in the face. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I like this positioning by Michael 3D. Uh, this is such good coverage of this hack. Um, that being said, I, I'm kind of sad that uh, 
Malkagu didn't think to run underneath, like right here. Yeah, underneath the ledge, so he didn't have a. So, yeah, because because I mean it, it's been pretty clear that this has been Michael 3D's kind of uh, egress point to to poke I think he's out. gonna get it though. I'm not seeing any looking for sponsor guys around. Yeah, but I I would be standing over here. Right, I'd be standing right here, rather than where he is. That's exactly why. I'd be standing pretty much right in front of where the door opens, because you shut down that angle. And if you get under fire, you just need to step a little bit to the left, and you're under cover. So, uh, you know, no big deal. I get it though. Raz there we go. Kaku pushing in through the bottom. Oof. All right, so Crow's through. He's now specked up as a. <laughs> As soldier, but it's gonna be Michael 3D taking him down. Wow, this is a sad that they didn't maybe think to take over the command post downstairs and just switch up to soldier. They didn't yeah. want to give away the position though, actually, because they actually had kind of a good flank in that room. Here comes Crow. He's gonna try for a plant, and it's perfect timing. Yeah, Raz and Chump and Matt pouring through That's Holly, a, showing up a little bit late. Yeah, and he, Chump being in the Krill Co. This is a good place to cover. Holly flanking in through Fashionista. Is wow. he going to be able to take on Matt here? Sliding into the room. Matt Calls is down. Chump. He's going for the next one. He's getting the do defuse. What's Chump doing? Chump, this is your time to shine. Not not shine. That being oh said, God. still need to do a disarm. Headshots. Headshots coming go. in. And it will be... Wow. Oh my god, the left. Lazarus grenade is going to be bringing it up. This is going to be a huge fight, and at the end of the day, El Forest is going to be the last man standing. Now, Unbelievable. Lazarus grenade. Standing, wow, that was a clutch yeah. grenade right there. Yeah, very nice choice. I think it picked up two Ingies, too. If they just it got did. the Gibbs, yep. Hubris didn't have the foresight to take out the engineers and give them. But, I mean, you know, that was a pretty successful push, and we still have 11 minutes and 22 seconds to go. Um, I, I'm feeling that uh, maybe we're going to see a little bit of picked up pace between the universe. That being said, um, the advantage of that plant is gone, or it should yeah. be gone, because L4S will start to focus entirely on holding down this room, rather than, as we saw moments ago, they were a little bit spread out. Also, it took him a good eight minutes to get the hack on that lower door. Comparatively, it took, uh, looking for sponsor, about five, about six About four or five, yeah. 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 So, that, that is a pretty considerable difference. But, then again, you know, uh, actually, this is quite different of a setup that we saw um, from Hubris, because L4S yeah. is, is still Holly's pushing turret out. turret takes down Mel Kagu. <laughs> Yeah, that is a really... Well, Holly's turret's position is not quite as good as Matt, Matt's was in the last path, but it'll still do its job. At the very least, you know, slowing them down. Yeah, I mean, for forcing them to, to empty a clip if they yeah. want to get, get past it. Now, Rob's is in a bit more of an evil place. Dude, I... Yeah. I, I fucking hate turrets in the plants. It actually really bothers me to... There's a, a really long extent. thread on the splash damage forums about how useless turrets are. For all of the, the tweaks that we need to see happen, turrets are not something that need to be regarded with. Like, the only thing that I might change is maybe make their, um, the, their tracking a little bit faster so that if you get caught by one, you can't just completely outrun it just by running to the side. Uh, like, just, uh, just slightly. It doesn't have, to be, doesn't have to match player speed, but I think it should be you know, just slightly faster than what it is now. Yeah, but we're already talking about huge defensive edges on, on, on in this game in general. Yeah, I guess. All right. Yeah. And turrets are going to be used defensively for the most part. All right, so oh, Raz... No, right. his turret, which is a mistake, because as we know, his turret is clutch as fuck right now. <laughs> Raz and Crow are down below. We got a yeah, soldier and an NG. No medic on this push, but they're going to push up the elevator. Um, there was an ambush there, but Holly fell back. No one coming over to respond to it. Oh, this no is a huge push. Down. They are getting some success. Crow. Oh, no. Oh, it's hits the mine. <laughs> oh. It yeah. is amazing how quickly things just turn around. Wow. Yeah, 9 minutes, 50 seconds. Still plenty of time. But, let's go take a look. Do a little bit shoulder camming. Watch Holly as he resets his mind. And that actually, that, that's great placement, to be honest, because you're going to catch 
Uh, not one, but two, trying to run their asses. I also like that securities maintain that lower uh, that lower command post. Yeah. I okay. mean, without the buff, it's not that much of a of a difference. I mean, but, at this but, point, but they're going to have their classes set in stone. Exactly, you're denying the chance to uh, swap classes in a in a clutch, you know, in, in yeah. a pinch. So. I don't know. I, unless you're able to, you know, bind it so that you're able to go soldier, toss a grenade up top to hit a turret, and then go med, and then Lazarus grenade everyone around you, and then go NG to buff guns, you know? Well, you know, to be honest, I, I have done that. Like, I've, <laughs> I, I, I've spawned, switched to an NG, buffed everyone up on my team, and then switched back to medic, or done a little soldier flashbanging, and then, you know, swapped it out when I'm... So if that. command post can let you do that, why don't we just get a command post on wheels? Yeah, right. You'd think with all this technology. Just a part, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but I mean seriously, like uh, to me that's perfectly viable. I don't understand why, you know. I mean it's a little bit of a time crunch, uh, yeah. time loss, but perhaps worth it. I don't know. We've got uh, L4S holding down Hennessy. I turn into a flashbang. Yeah. Wow, that one lasts a good five seconds for me. Yeah, it wouldn't be too bad for. Oh, that one's worse. There we go. Jump. Right, so Mel's making his push up here. He's got gnome to take care of. Err. Uh, again, I I'm wondering. Okay, with these medics pushing forward, who are they going to be working with? You know, to get a plant done, to get some damage done. And so far, it's Mel and Raz again. So guys, we have a potential issue here. As this is a plan objective, we're not quite sure how stuff's going to be uh, scored. Um, do we just... It's a full hold, yeah. yeah if you're not, dismiss you know, the progress pass. and dismiss the map, pretty much. We go. That being said, we got a plant by Chump. And he's been uh, given some... Oh, no, Chump goes down. And Rob Wiz will get... The defuse. Uh, I'm a little bit sad to see that there's seems like maybe the medics not sticking with the objective class as tightly as they might yeah, need That's to be. exactly what I was getting at. It was like, I see medics either by themselves or by an NG, you know? Yeah, no, no support necessarily. Because, I mean, that, you know, quick revive could have really changed that outcome quite a bit. I mean, Raz is a good place to, you know, off the spawn, get the buffs done, and then start a lone wolf flank. I mean, that is the most use he's going to be. Not that I'm trying to pigeonhole him or anything. All right, a bunch of kills going on here. We got three hubris guys in Hennessy. Michael 3D coming up behind him, though. They do not see this. Uh, he takes out one. Oh, Gnome comes in just as Matt turns around, gets a perfect flank. Wow. Just, just they clear him up. They didn't even get a single death. All the kills are on the left uh, looking for sponsor. Elfress is making it really difficult for a hubris to hold down uh, Hennessy. Yeah. That's the main staging area for a lot of these attacks, and it just isn't working for them. Are you able to skinny wall jump from... Okay, yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Matt just answered my question. Yeah. <laughs> and he went the wrong way, so he died. Nice pincher, though, by L4S. Oh. All right, I want to see some, some more concentrated Plants. pushes. I want Hubris <laughs> to get together and really push together. Because right now there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one battles all over the place, and yeah, it's just not yeah, working. Yeah, it's, it's, it's straight up fragging, not necessarily team pushes. So. Indeed. All right, so we should see a pretty big spawn run here for Hubris. Oh, no, it's actually only Mel. Only Mel, as a medic. It's going to be a late medic. Yeah, Raz and Chump, though, are pushing through. Just as everybody has... taps out, yeah. And that's actually really dangerous. It might be advisable for uh, for Mel to just kind of stick back and, until he's ready to meet up with the rest of his team. But holy crap, making me eat my words. Mel comes in for a clutch frag in Hennessy. 
Now he just needs everybody he needs to catch up with him. I mean, that's the thing. It's like oh, he gets when blindsided. he's catching up, he's going to be there too late. And when he's by himself, everybody else is going to be too late. They need to, to form up. Yeah. So Looks like we got a good push here going through Fashionista. Uh, it's Raz, Chomp, and Matt. Uh, looks like they're going into the Krillco um, sort of area, but Rob was in Mike for D, hop down. They're pushing up against him, going up against Chomp. Chomp getting a double kill here. They got three kills. They're going to push it in now. Only two left on defense. It's Gnome and TM. Is Hubris going to push in fast enough? Raz leading the charge. He's down. Matt following it up. TM coming around the corner, getting a revive, gets a gift. TM is the last guy here. Getting the frags, though. Plant coming down. Revives going up. Hubris. Oh, oh. they land on a, a mine. And Nate is there. Jumped and got up and went down. Up oh, again. They have the plant going down, but it gets disrupted. Goddamn oh, flashbangs. Wow. Everyone's Everybody dead. Dies. Crow gets the kill, though. Crow's gonna be planting. I think he's gonna get this. Gonna oh, get no! It's TM from afar! And he is able to get the kill. And how did he get a give there? Oh, he must, maybe he just tapped out. Oh. But yeah, again, you know, it's even a three second spawn difference. That would have yeah. that would have given him a plant. Though part of me again playing the devil's advocate, part of me is wondering if splash damage is watching and going. They're complaining about defensive strength, but then they take away adrenaline. What the fuck? You know, yeah. I wonder if, if there's somebody thinking that. I think it's just you. Well, okay. I'm not here's thinking, the, here's I'm the thing, though. Else is thinking here's it. the thing. If adrenaline lasted three seconds, yeah, I'd be okay with it. Yeah. But it lasts. Was it five? Five. And it's. It no, is. No, I was playing today. I really wonder if it's still lasting that long. Yeah, I, 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 I imagine that's something that they, they can adjust. They can. I wonder if they have. Yeah. Although mm -hmm. I, I imagine Batman would have said something to me because he knew about our rules. Yeah, I, I talked to him today, so. Okay. Most of what I got from Batman about the whole sticky bomb thing was an exclamation point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and from him, that's enough. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that being said, here come Raz and Chump. The final push, one minute left to go. And Raz will survive as an engineer, looking for the shots against Holly. See if I can get a good angle. These two guys. Rob was coming in from fresh spawn. Gnome and Holly will hold it down the final 45 seconds. And I don't think we're going to see a plant. Here comes Matt from below. So. Hmm. Well, okay, let's, let's pay attention, if we will. Let's pay attention to um, what the game considers the win. And let's let's do a maybe... Um, if, I, okay. think, I think on the final scoreboard, it shows us a total of, of XP. I, yeah. I, let's see if we can do a comparison um, and see what the game gives as a result. Okay, sounds good to me. Now computer secured. We're safe for now. Well done, man. All right, so security. I bet somebody survived in that helicopter too, and is just waiting for somebody to get him out. So, according to my screen, security won. Yeah, me too. And that makes sense. The denial of the plant. Let's take a look at the scoreboard itself. Is there a total? God damn, I'm by the way, 10, TM with 10 Yeah. All right, let's go. Good to go? Yeah. There we go. Oops. Teams have pressed F3. We are about to go live. Let's run the rosters in this uh, potentially tie-breaking, no, wait, no, second map, excuse me, of looking for a sponsor. Okay, let's see if I can get over to uh, to watch the first wave come in there. We've got uh, Rob Wiz as an engineer, a pair of soldiers, Michael3D and Holly, uh, TM, and, and Gnome will be medics. We're going to watch Holly as he heads off. In the wobbly sunset as security. Oh, failing the hop. Uh oh. Oh, failing it twice. Oh, not a good time to be on camera. There you go. Holly makes it up. That's going to be a fairly slow push here from El Forest, but yeah. here it comes. 
Mel, Mel can just take him down easily. No problem. Lower right, so door, like though. Two right into the room, two down below. Chumpin better be able to hold these guys off. He's down below. And a Molotov is out. But we actually have a team kill here. Michael 3D <laughs> shooting without discretion. Uh-oh, and Gnome just threw a nade into a wall and it bounced back. So I think we can pretty much call that push done. Actually, no. Uh, L4S is back up. Uh, TM was able to get a uh, revive on Michael 3D. And Michael 3D is actually going behind everybody else. And they don't notice. This is going to be a planned unless Pro. Oh, he's like, oh, hello. Oh, he does get the bomb down. Wait, Crow didn't see him? Wow. What the hell, Crow? What the I, hell? I, I, I see his body there, but. Wow, what Michael a quick 3D objective. killed him. What a quick objective. Can I just say, I'm so used to the defense being able to hold this objective for at least a couple minutes. There we go. Well, they De are, defuse, never mind. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was on a different part of the map when that But it, it, was, uh, it was a pretty impressive play. Guys, I have some really exciting news. Yeah. I just turned 23 years old. Holy oh, shit. Congratulations. You are so goddamn young. So fucking old. Oh, Wait, just... I'm older than you? How did what you not know fuck? that? Yeah, Matt's, Matt's the, like the young and he's he's kind of the baby he of the crowd. He doesn't look like it though. <laughs> it's the beard. <laughs> Throws you Love off. You, Matt. <laughs> All right, that being uh... said, back on this objective, we got the next wave yeah. coming in. All right, so yeah, okay, the... we've got Rob and Gnome kind of pairing up together. Looks like they're going to be pushing down. Oh, okay, they're going to be humping the stairs, actually. Yeah, it's, it's very important to get that uh, initial stair hump, because if you don't get a good, you know, humping in, then it's just downhill from there. Okay, but look at this. Rob is able to get on back. because If he can take down Chump, he's going to be in a good position. No, it's not going to happen. Nope. Raz. So now I'm wondering what he was trying to accomplish there. Yeah. He's just getting pumped up. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do this. Wait, I'm an NG? Oh shit, back away from the door. <laughs> Psych! Yeah. Uh, offensive minds, what do you guys think? We're gonna we see some out of these quote unquote mm, top I, teams? I would like to see one. Yeah. Why are we. Wait, okay, Rob. Okay, sorry, I got confused. I thought the offense was running two NGs for a second. Turns out the defense was doing it, so no harm, no foul. Oh, my bad. Yeah. I'm gonna follow Gnome and Rob Wiz here as they're planning their attack with Holly. Uh, yeah, it looks like Michael, Rob, uh, hopping down, Holly, Gnome sticking up top, uh, Gnome maybe, f uh, flopping around, going to the, uh, I don't know if flopping around was the best word, moving around, going <laughs> down perfect. the, uh, flanking going around, down perhaps? The stairs. Yes, flanking, flopping, I mean, yeah, yeah it still depends <laughs> on, you know, around. how you make an entrance, Raz, gonna be taking on two, and he and his turret will go down, and... From afar though, Holly is planting. I'm gonna follow it from this yeah, angle yeah, here. And Mike 3D, check out this position right Plant here. Plant is done. Nice little corridor. Um, this is perfect because the, the defensive team hops down, and here they are. They're oh, look at that Lazarus grenade on Holly. He's gonna be able to defend his own objective here. Matt's gonna take Not him back down though. This should be enough time for L4S to come back in. Rob's Where? gonna be the one. Oh! oh yeah. Pistol oh, shot. Between all the bodies. Is that Rob Wiz? Is that Where Rob Wiz? Oh my god. Where is everyone else? Oh. 13 seconds. They're they got it. Together, though. This is what I like to see. And the question is though, because Hubris will not be set up at all, so let's see if we can see a uh, very quick turnaround, another quick push. In my opinion, the spawn timer should be that if you end up killing the guy who's getting the first defuse by the time he's revived and getting back up, your team should be able to be on point. Yeah. That's just my opinion. Yeah. We, we want it very offensive heavy. We want yeah. times to be set. Alright, so let's go and find... Uh, oh, here we go. Here's the next push. All right, yeah, it looks like they're coming in through the lower side over here, um, through past the command post area. It's looking for sponsors, moving in. We've got four of them, No, Mike, Rob, and TM. What a nice Molotov there. Um, who was that? Oh, the chump throwing that Molotov. They're pushing in now. What a good crossfire set up by, by Hubris. They're slowly yeah. flaking around. Just getting a whole bunch of kills. I I'm, I'm kind of sad we're not seeing entrances from above, and that bothers me. Yeah. I do like the fact that we're seeing more rear entrances, though. Yeah, There's that makes sense. For it. <laughs> Given your O oh, earlier. Yeah. Or it was more like, ooh. <laughs> A little bit worried about you, man. I, right, I know so you got Rose there, but... I person respawn here by looking for a sponsor. Um, they're going to be vaulting over the edges, going up. Um, it seems like they favor the top 
side or the stair route. Um, they really prefer the blue route side of the room, if that's how we want to call it. Oh yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> like seriously, it would have been too hard to call this conduit access B on one side and conduit access A on the other. Would that have been just too hard? Too many textures, bro. You, you ask too much. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's not like it's a digitally distributed game and they don't have caps on how big a can... All right, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. Wow, that being said... what a killed run. Yeah. By Hubris. Absolutely smashed. Hubris is looking pretty. So we're seeing yet another defensive-sided uh, match here. No. <laughs> Why not? No. No means yes. Exactly. <laughs> All right, we got a five-man potential push through the top. Please. And everyone's buffed up, ready to go. Dressed up with someone to blow. Let's see if uh, we're gonna follow Michael Freedy as he makes some entrance and comes right back out. Holly's down. Michael 3D also down. Crow getting it done. Nice. And gets the gifts. Very solid. Yeah, Crow is definitely making up for his first, you know, plant. What plant? Yeah. Kind of fell up. Um, but you know, let me let me just say this. Let me say this. Um, maybe that's why we're not seeing too many pushes through the top hatch because Crow is just up there kicking ass. Yeah. The the. The thing I dislike the most is that Rob is generally accompanied by a medic, and as the engineer, that really doesn't need to happen. Like, that medic would be better spent, you know, keeping the soldiers moving forward. Yeah. Or, let alone, actually, you know what I would love to see is, uh, flashbang entrances supported yeah, yep, by medics. Yep, yep. Um, you know, double soldiers, so, you know, you got a Molotov at the ready in addition. Said, uh, TM is just cleared uh, upper. Yeah, TM, really nice position. He's waiting for the rest of the team to back him up, though, because he's kind of up here by himself. Uh, Holly and Mike 3D really need to get up there, support him. Here comes Holly. Uh, Mike 3D looks like he's just hanging out in spawn. Why not? That's what all the cool kids are doing. <laughs> uh, wow. He's just checking out the floor. So, Mike 3D, not, he had to go, you know, check on the kids, let the dogs out, run some errands <laughs> real quick. But he'll be back in a few minutes. BRB shower. Not quite as good as BRB shirt on fire, but I'll take that too. <laughs> that was pretty funny. That was a good moment. Yeah, my favorite. I don't know if you heard about this. I think it was BLG. One of the BLG players on the car got broke into mid-match. What? I'm not even kidding you. Uh, I'll need out there to talk to one of the, the admins or one of the BLG guys. Actually, if one of the BLG guys wants to PM me on IRC the story of what happened uh, last night, that would be oh, cool. oh, Holly. All right, yeah, so it. anyway, uh, everyone's pushing now. Uh, Mike 3D's back, They're pushing it. It looks like pushing in the bottom left side to the quote-unquote red side. No, there's very little redness around. But just, I don't know. It's more the, the absence dude. of blue, I think, that we call yeah, it yeah. that. And you have this orange light up top, so yeah. Why not? Yeah. I find it so odd because as a, as a spectator, you can fly maybe halfway through this room before you hit a clip brush. Yeah. That keeps you essentially pinned down. So. It's okay, you get to practice your miming skills. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Hubris has got really good positioning right now. I mean, they're able to cover everything, including the top. Matt's oh, got Raz is actually... around this push, but I'm um, looking for a sponsor able to respond for it. Raz falling back smartly. Uh, Rob getting the kill here, actually. It looks like uh, looking for sponsors making the push now. Holly goes down. Hubris is still up in numbers, but looking for sponsors going to this hallway that they like. Chumps in the hallway, though. There we uh, go, Rob. Down by Mike and TM. Crow jumps down. Um, he's one of the last few guys up. He's going on Rob. Takes down Rob. Ooh. Mike around. He gets Michael the kill. Michael 3D is getting a ton of kills here. He's going to be taken down from the rear, though, if he pushes out right now. He's got to be very careful. He's soaking them back. 
He's making sure that they're having to come to him and he can kind of take them out one at a time. He expects... Oh, oh bro nearly like, takes him down from behind. Oh, Michael is unstoppable right now. Michael Ruiz got like four or five kills at least. And he's a not... A lot of that... A lot of this push really started out with Rob doing exactly what he needed to. Going lone wolf and harassing was just the ticket. And not having that other medic kind of tied up with him, that really helped on out. So we've got no, we've got Rob, now we just need a soldier. Rob's Michael's having a respawn. Oh, they are here. They have the objective. TM's going to show up from the other side here. And he's like a Razin. Um, oh, down. No, 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 oh, no, Mr. Down. No, the kids. Shit balls. Looks like Mike Rudy is about to show up here, though, on the uh, the right side here with TM. We got two uh, L4S guys pushing in, going up against Chomp. They take down Chomp. Malakagu showing up, though. Mike Rudy's still alive. TM's still alive. Getting a health bump. Flashbang out. Grenades out. Wow. This is a battle right here. They are slowly making their way, looking for spawns or making some headway. But is it going to be enough? Now, here's the question. Is, uh, I would say hang back here. Although, yeah, TM's going to self-revive. Hang back here and see if you can time it so that your uh, well, teammates are coming in at the same time. Rob, Wiz, all both taken out, though. They did show up. TM, Mike 3D still alive. They're in the back. They're getting big with Raz. Raz gets taken down. Mike 3D gets a revive. Yeah, but here, here comes the rest of the Hubers. Matt do rushing around the corner, though. Oh, and mine goes off. Flashman. Oh, Flashman goes off right before the curb stomp. That was pretty epic. That being said, Hubris has cleared it. But oh, oh, that was it. Yeah, Hubris finally cleared that push. Yeah, that was a pretty good amount of pressure. Yes, but they weren't able to make it happen. All right, I'm gonna watch Michael 3D. I, I'm kind of calling him for MVP for L4S at the moment, but uh, we'll, we'll see. All right, well, he's got TM to help out with the med. That was a good initial Molotov. Yeah. Now they need to be able to cut through here nicely. Ooh, if that flash was for Michael Freedy and not against. <laughs> okay, but they're actually going back the other way. And that's where everybody's going to be right now. They're going right into the fire fight, but if they can cut them down, they might have a chance here. Mm. Rats going to be the last one up. Oh my god, no, here comes Crow. Michael Freedy going, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, bro. Ah. Uh, not gonna happen. Yeah, I, I, I have to say home. though, almost get the plans. Let, let me let me just kind of call this out real quick. The way that Michael 3D entered that fight and the way that TM entered that fight, very different. Michael 3D using this crate for cover. TM walking up the stairs and be like, "Hi guys, I am wide open. Shoot me in the face." So I think you can maybe uh, do a little bit better uh, movement and using cover, or maybe even wall walking and all that all that kind of good stuff to change up uh, how you can protect yourself, so. Multiple enemies spotted. So many enemies. That being said, Michael Freedy just decided to kill Rob with. Six minutes. Okay, so right now we've got actually a bit of a mix up up top. I, I like the fact that, uh, I'm sorry, in the rear of the map, and actually that's gonna be helping them out quite a bit. If they could just hold down here for a little bit, because we've got Gnome, we've got TM, and we've got Michael 3D. I mean, a two medic, one soldier push is A-OK -okay with me. And it doesn't look like there's a working turret on the red side of the map. Mel is going to be the one guy defending Planning. this. But as I'm always, TM has the cover. Red side, the red side has that balcony. Oh, the what the fuck? Yeah. He stepped off the mine and oh, killed really? himself. Shit. Oh. Ain't that about a bitch. As opposed to a good one. Yeah, definitely. Man. All right, well, yeah, another clear. Looks like everyone except Holly respawning right now. Crow's going to peek out, see what's going on. Uh, Holly might get the drop on Crow if he's not careful. Okay, can, I, every... can I just say I'm a little bit worried because we're on a map with yet another plane objective and five minutes left to go? Uh, you can say that, but I'm, I'm hoping for some plans. I think we're going to see it here. Um... We're seeing a five-man push here really quickly. Coming in, Holly, uh, Gnome leading the charge. There's some revives going out. Uh, looks like Hubris is going to hold it off, though, actually. I got, kind of got sloppy there uh, near the end. So TM and Mike are still up. They are in a bad spot. There's nades going to be coming in. Yeah. Ugh. Ugly. Yeah, Crow cleans up. Anyway, the good news is we can get energy from water. 
<laughs> yeah, I hear that's all the rage now. Clearly. Speaking of rage, have you seen this insanely, ridiculously stupid social media marketing stunt that yes. the players have been pulling? The, the basketball player thing? Yeah. Like they've been getting Snoop Dogg in on it and Charlie Sheen. And I miss it software that's old uh, free, but that's the television ads because they were badass. They were in your face. They were so 90s. Never gonna get those days back. Anyway, TM, Michael 3D going in for the push. Chump is gonna be knocked down. It's not quite gonna be enough to get the kill, but it will be enough for Chump to get a Molotov off on TM. That's okay though. He's got the revive. That turret is still up. TM's got to take that down, but no, Matt's going to be distracting. Think... Michael 3 d is still up, and he's going for the plant. Here it comes, and that turret is like, oh. Oh, no, <laughs> turret. <laughs> the no, turret, turret gets the clutch like... kill, and that, that actually is perfectly turret. fine. Even if the turret wasn't there, <laughs> there was no um, L4S uh, guys in sight, and that would have been a quick defuse. But still, turret, why? Why do you have to deny us the plant? Why? Um, yeah. Uh, 3, 14. But yeah, just as a reminder, guys, we are going to see a very different game develop over the next uh, couple of weeks as we get patches. And I imagine there are going to be some a lot more competitive-friendly settings in terms of uh, respawn wait times and things like that. That will pretty seriously uh, improve the chances. L4S is taking over the room here. Yeah, they are, Red side, we got five L4S yeah. guys. They're all up. They're getting frags. They're holding it down. They're getting a Plant. Chunk shooting in on him, not able to take down Mike though. Uh, mine does take him out, but it's up to TM to get the revives. And is he gonna get it in time? No, he's not gonna get Mike, I don't think. Yeah, this room is really interesting, and I think both of these teams know kind of the uh, the first layer of the meta game here. Yes. The defending players can come in from the upper balcony really quickly, but that mattress down in the corner is a really good place to defend from. And that's what they cleared out first before worrying about the bomb, and it worked. Yeah. So now Holly is going to be coming in from up top, but again, leading with the grenade. I never really like that if you're trying to go in for a one-man stealthy, you know, push. Yeah, it kind of says, I'm here, deal with me. Yep. Which is okay if you have, you know, the other four players come in from the other side, which we have right now. Gnome, Mike... And Rob, oh, here we go. This is good. This is so good. And actually, I got to kind of take that back. That one-man push might have given this side of the map to these guys. Maybe. It's going to be a big firefight before that comes down to it, though. Mike's still alive. So is TM. He's got to get the revive. Mike's... Oh, shit. Oh, TM's down. down. They are white. They got a minute and 30 left to make something happen. We got one, possibly two pushes to make a successful plant on this objective. Yeah, this could be a uh, full holds all night. There, hopefully, we'll see a little bit of uh, something different out of Hubris. But wow. Well, you know, I, we've gotten some some rabble chatter about the ban of adrenaline. And and again, like I, I want to reiterate, I don't think that we're necessarily against the idea of adrenaline. I think that it's just one of those things that lasts too long. Um, I don't know. Again, in, until those things are tweaked, and, and this was, you know, we did not just arbitrarily say no adrenaline. We uh, communicated with teams, players, uh, league admins, community members, and it was a resounding uh, yes for the ban of the use of adrenaline. So, for the people that are now wishing that we had it, I guess to make it a bit more spectating friendly, um, you know, yeah, I understand that, but you have to also look at the game from the competitor's standpoint where adrenaline is cheap as fuck the way it is right now. Uh, it is essentially a free plant and you don't want to give a, f a free objective away. Uh, you want there to be at least some skill involved. Uh, like say for example, the way that I would fix adrenaline is you make it last at most three seconds, maybe even less, um, and you make it so that there's a cooldown on when it can be used again. If you do yeah, that, excellent brothers. as long as you can't stack adrenaline, intel. right? That's way home. okay by me. Yeah. Wait, are you guys seeing the Hulk Hogan guy? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> awesome. It's nice. What the the uh, badass character submission? No, I saw him in the game. Oh, okay. No, I, I was reading chat. Oh yeah, he was so. he was hanging out in the back of the ship. 
Uh, I don't know if you guys saw them. I think it's kind of different per person. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah. So we've got um, best overall Melikagu, Chump, best soldier, best medic Melikagu coming in again. Best engineer is Raz. No operatives, but this time Raz picks up the headshots and most kills. All right. So second half is going to be coming up. Hubris will be on the attack. And as always, I, I kind of expect Hubris to be able to um, kind of flush certain parts of the map. But I got to hand it to L4S. I mean, their place here in the finals is well-deserved, if, if nothing else. Yeah. Yeah, they're putting on a great show. And there's, yeah, like, like you saw last map, that full hole. Both teams just had such a good grasp on defense. They, they knew how to set up crossfires. They knew how to preempt pushes with grenades. They knew everything. They got the revives timed perfectly, so the, class, the line set up. Class one out though. Lives. We're going live, yeah. Raz, Engineer, Soldier, Soldier for Crow and Chump, Matt, Medic, Melikagu joining him on the revive squad. With uh, Resistance, we've got Rob Wiz, Holly, oh, excuse me, Rob Wiz and Holly as Engineer, and Gnome and TM as the Medics. Michael 3D is sporting the Soldier kit. Matt and Raz are going to be kind of late to the game here, but that means we're going to have Chump and Mel as a soldier med team. Crow and uh, Crow. Coming in. I guess Crow is just waiting for somebody to help him. Okay. Crow is just kind of hanging out behind a crate. T timing, though. Timing is going to be everything, and that's going to be a huge flash to open up the room. Is that going to mean there's going to be an attack from above? Well, if so, Holly's already got a turret up there. And Holly's flanking him from behind, taking down Matt. Wow. Uh, good presence of mind. Nice defense. That was just a quick reaction. And, yeah, the only one up uh, on the push right now is Raz is on the top level. And it looks like Mel Kagu's uh, holding off in sort of this, this this room to the side. But Raz is positioned right now. I don't know if you see where Raz is. Yep. But he's up on the top yep. uh, platform. I'm with him. Very good, very good spot to be in. But it, j it means right now with uh, two guys set up over there. It's Melikagu and oh, Raz. Oh, headshot! Rob Wiz takes down Raz. Wait, how did Raz get up there? Oh, I guess from the tank, right? Just don't usually see if there being a lot of time for that. So he's just gonna lay down there. You can get it from up there from a the side room. I don't know if yeah. You oh, can you actually hop up there from the side room? Yes. Really? Um, yeah, like seriously, there are all kinds of places that people are going to be discovering. Yeah, if you watch Crow yeah. right now, he's oh hopping up there. Oh my god! Well, almost. Because that would be that, such so. a great... Okay, there we go. Nice. Yeah, because that is going to be a great place to attack from. Got it. I love it. Yep. Yep. All right, yep. Crow's Here, planning. Sneaky, oh. sneaky. Uh, Mike 3 has no idea what's going on right now. He's coming back, he's reloading, and he sees the plant from Crow. Uh, we got two guys here. Neither one of them Inji, though. Where's um, Rest of Hubris? They need to come in right now and prevent this defuse. Uh, they're trying Where to. Mike it? 3D is holding it off, though. Uh, yeah, that was that was a good presence of mind. Mike so, actually pushed up and made sure that they weren't able to get any Hail Mary grenades or last-second headshots on the engineer. He pushed up um, the hallway and, yeah, just closed it down. So good. If good, uh, does that again and you get, like, you know... Raz to stay up on top of the balcony. He might be having to take some damage from behind as well, but he'll be able to defend the the plant very effectively. And the best thing about it, not likely going to be a lot of mines up there. So here we go. Yeah, they're all down below. They're not going to be expecting this. And that means, and this is really good for the map, I think. Ooh, Mike it is down. That's that... actually pretty big. Yeah. This is kind of huge, though, because it means that L4S has to defend the entranceway. They need to push out effectively in order to cover Shump. that route. Shump, you beast. Finally going down. Holly will curb stomp him. Here we go. Oh, shit. And from TM above. Oh, look at this. Down. TM. TM and Holly have cleared one side. Crow is about to come through. Going to get under fire. Uh, maybe taken down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plant time, maybe? Anyone? Anyone got a charge? Anyone? Bueller? Nope. If you check out Matt and oh, I'm uh, sorry. Chump, they're actually kind of matching. Uh, just throwing that there. Immediately more interesting, though. I mean, Hubris has uh, broached a route that nobody has used before on air. Uh, they, 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 I've seen that a couple times. Not here. <laughs> On air, I think was the operative word. 
I mean, yesterday we saw it a couple times out of a few teams. I mean, yeah. No I think Jahar's is trying to make it more suspenseful or something. Okay, cool. Oh, that's it. Fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we're seeing a good push uh, here down the stairs. Chomp is the lone guy left. Oh, actually, Melkin could get the self revive. They're pushing in. Oh, Mike, though. Wow. Are you seeing that? Yeah. Holy cow. He just got four kills. Mike 3D clearly wants to be the champion of this game, killing essentially the entire team single handedly. <laughs> I don't know if you see this, it's uh it's Matt uh Raz and uh I don't know who the the other one is. I think Chomp. They all Chomp. are kind of wearing matching uniforms. Maybe maybe it's a bug, I don't know. But no I'm no, they're they're matching yeah. online. It's, it's beautiful. Oh, Raz oh, found a mine. Mix up. Raz found another mine. We've got a top run coming up here. It's gonna be Crow. We've got Raz still trying to make the jump, but Raz needs to be up there. Oh no, Raz, somebody needs to be up there with Crow. Yeah, Matt's up there with him. Okay, good, good. He needs to cover the back, yeah, but if he can be down there, well, oh shit, okay. Crow's been oh, revived. Mike, like, hey, just gonna hop up? But yeah, yeah pretty much. Michael 3D is not gonna be fooled by anything. Yeah. See, Michael 3D doesn't win 1v1s, he wins 1v teams. <laughs> People saying there can't be clutch players to bring. <laughs> I'm, I'm so we have the next push too, coming. At Jahar, and I also find it equally as silly what? that individual skill doesn't matter. And I just, like, I see some of these players and some of the shit they pull off, and I'm like, oh, are you watching a different game, or... Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe you just suck, you know? It, it's usually the latter. It's, it's so hard to like just boil down anyone's argument to though to you suck or you know why do you? What, no, why it's you actually pretty easy. Them? You just look at him straight in the face, give him a middle <laughs> finger, and say you suck. Okay. Suffice to say, coming into Brink, going well, I get helicopter kill streaks all the time. I'm awesome. <laughs> it's not a good fly. Because oh, literally God. the only helicopters here are the ones already crashed into the ground. Which is what I wish I could do with Call of Duty. Fucking... Anyway. <laughs> was that Rotten Rose in the background? Cackling? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Alright, so Mel going up top. Maybe. He's a medium though. Uh, maybe, I think. Medium? Okay, he's dead now. I should be able to... Yeah, he's medium. Can a medium get up there? Or is that just a skinny route? I don't think memes can get up there that okay. I know. But I like Actually, that. I like that there are routes that only certain body types can get. Mm hmm. I like that so ah. much. All right, oh, they're getting man. some kills here. It looks like, uh. Yeah, they hold off. They hold off just barely, though. Oh, Matt is hopping down. Mel can go right behind him. They're down, though. Mel can self revives. Gnome. It's gonna go down, and oh, oh man. Wow. Okay, Matt and Mel can go. Looks like they were out for the count, but no. Yeah, no, they, they, they both self-revived, although that being said, they are down again. And Crow is not part of this push. He's outside along with Raz and the fresh spawn wave. Yeah, Chomp and Crow, uh, they, they've split up, but they're not pushing in. They're waiting um, for the, the spawn wave to come in. So we've got two Hubris guys setting up, one on either side, just waiting for um, maybe for left or sponsor to poke out, get a get an easy kill. Um, basically, what you're trying to do in, in a game a lot is, is you get kind of what's called a pick. And a pick is like that first initial kill that you get on a defensive team, and, and as soon as you get that kill, that's where you want to push with all five of your people as quickly as possible. Not as big of a thing in Brink, um, that's kind of from other shooters, but getting that one-man advantage is a huge deal when you're working on uh, the offense. Okay, on that note, we're seeing a couple push here into the blue room. Um, Melkagu, Chomp supporting each other. Um, Rob was known pushing up. They get the kills on them. And, uh, and Crow is top five. Emon just, just TK'd Rob with. Yeah. And Holly gets the mine kill, but Crow will be planting. Plant, plant, plant. TM, they did not look at TM oh, shit. from behind, and that plant will be stopped 11 minutes and 16 seconds on the clock. Oh my goodness, we could be seeing another double full hold. Ah. Uh. Uh, I guess we just take him to shipyard in that case. Yep. 
You know, I wonder if for the next couple tournaments before, you know, certain things happen, if we just play with traditional timing. Like traditional break timing, not traditional, you know, ET timing. You mean objective? Yeah. How would you determine who won then? It would be on progress, but you would have, you know, X amount of... Okay, never mind. Leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> you just, you couldn't really find a winner, though. Unless yeah. You just... Unless you can't, like, hey, this, so if the defense depends, then they're the winner. Maybe the thing to do is just to allow adrenaline for plan objectives? I don't know. But it's a free plan objective, and what's the point of having it? Don't worry, patch will fix everything. <sighs> I'm, a, I'm a big believer in the patch. I, I, I think adrenaline just kind of adds a, a level almost to spam, because the defense can do the same thing. They just adren the guy to yeah. fusing it. You can't stop the The fact that you can get adrenaline stacked is the biggest problem. Yeah, exactly. If it was a one-time thing and, and, it, and you couldn't apply it again for, you know, It's like really not going to solve the issues that we're seeing now, I don't yeah. think. I agree. No, it would. Spawn times. Yep, plus five. All right, you got another push here. All right, we got Raz coming up the top. Uh, Chomp, Melkagoo working the bottom. Here we go. Um, loop side. Matt's coming up with Raz. So we got two up on top, two up on the bottom. Crow going around the edge. Uh, Crow is on the other side. Gets a kill though. Uh, he's gonna be working against Michael 3D now. Oh, wow. he gets Michael 3D out. Red well, side is critical. clear. That was the wrong time for that health buff, as he was, you know, dying. All right, Raz and Matt getting some kills here. Rob was last one up. Oh, no, Gnome gets a self-revive. Gnome goes down again, though. TM coming in from spawn. They're giving up the red side, and they are... Oh, wait, what side are they going? They don't quite it's know. good for Raz. Raz is playing both sides very nicely, though, and Matt is going to be able to med over here. Uh, All right, um, they've decided Raz on is still the blue side. This is what I keep wanting to see players like Raz and... Wait, we have two? Okay, I'm sorry. Players like Raz specifically doing is just harassing, period. If you're seeing two people, I think you just need to reconnect, because I... Yeah. yeah. And happens. But wow, this run has been going for quite some time. It oh, looks like... that was such a good attack. I don't know why they get a plant down. They were getting such good a foothold in that room. I know. Oh. Raz is still looking for shots that. with his down fire. <laughs> Man, that that's kind of sad, because that looked like it was going to result in something. Yeah. At this point, though, L4S has kind of recentered. They're in good shape again. Rob Wiz has his turret back up. Grab his turret. Alright, looks like we see uh, four Hubris are up right now. I don't know the fifth is Crow. Crow is taken out though. And here comes Raz, top side getting taken out by a mine. No chance for a revive. Chump goes down as well. So that's a pretty much a reset of that push completely. Matt is still up, but he shouldn't be. He's falling back, I think, maybe just peeking a little, um, trying to get a kill or two, but nope, he's falling back. Yeah. Holly tries to catch Matt off guard, but he pays for it. Matt able to get the kill. Now, we, we do have some good news, which is the next map, uh, the main objective is, is, a, is a build to a hack, so we will be yeah. able to determine by progress who wins if there's no time set. Yeah, I really didn't think That's double good. full holds were going to be this common. Told uh, you, Matt. Told you, buddy. You, you told me. <laughs> like, honestly, I'm so used to always seeing the... Oh, the we got a plant. On this we, map. we got a plant. Hang on. Chomp looking up from his dead body as an inch gets revived right next to him. Probably goes down. Down fire, down, down fire, down fire. No... Oh, Chump should have invested in some down motherfucking fire. <laughs> See, I think what Matt was mostly expecting is yeah if you see a hold on one side you would expect kind of uh just a, a flush out from a the other side the other, yeah yeah nope. but it hasn't been the case for also any time. on this map you're just so used to seeing like the plan objective go within a couple minutes and then it's like the escort objective that gets held right yeah i think the problem is that we're dealing with two teams that like their aim that know what they're doing <laughs> too good yeah where yeah like they, yeah, there's, there's such a hyper focus that the defense is able to get, you know, re-centered so quickly, whereas in other teams, you know, scrimming and whatnot, that, that cohesion isn't there strong enough in order to, uh, 
you know, it's true. It's true. Character, so, Shump able to see down Rob Wiz. He's gonna have to wait for his health to stock back up. He's gonna be facing off against Holly. Looks like he'll go down to Rob Wiz, actually. No, nope, excuse me. Uh, Holly rather now, with it. What you're seeing here is again that staggered waves I've been talking about. Yeah. For example, the current spawn wave, it's three people. That's never a good sign. That means two people are still up. Luckily, they're waiting for him, but occasionally they get picked off. They've just been a little bit aggressive from time to time. The biggest problem is that one of those people is Crow, who's one of their main soldiers. But he's waiting, though. He's being patient. Yeah, so is Malkyu. He's pushing up now, though. His team coming in the uh, the red side as he pushes through the blue side. Oh, he gets a kill on Gnome, but Gnome still survives, so he's good. Raz is down. Crow is still up. He's been pretty cautious. Hanging on to his life, gonna switch up and probably run into a mine. In All three. Right. Uh, is it a three? Oh, no, no, actually, oh, Matt's yeah, up here. He's cleared it out. Up top. Yeah. This could be a problem for them on the next spawn wave, but if Matt and Crow can make something happen now, oh, watch out for nades. This is not sticky. All right, here they go. They're making their move down to the mattress, and they're in the middle of the firefight. Holy crap. Michael 3D and TM shutting down Crow and Matt. Yeah. So, so I, I, I'm kind of thinking that the escort is looking like Starvin' Marvin right about now. <laughs> like, Where's the kaboom? There's a boost mid earth shattering kaboom. Yeah. <laughs> Not Marvin the Marshman, Starvin' Marvin. Oh, sorry. But yeah. my thing still fits, though. Yeah, that's true. Sorry, I, I I heard I heard Marvin. <laughs> I, I did like the Earth Shattered Kaboom bit. That was nice. Way to take a wrong and turn it into something so so right. <laughs> <laughs> but they're gonna blow up in that <laughs> probably too small closet, and there's just gonna be a corpse inside, and they're it's all just too gonna stand small. There looking no awkward room. at each other. <laughs> there's plenty of room. Look at that. It's the distance between because there's not much of a uh, of a bevel there really. It's like the distance between. Really? You guys having this fight again? Okay, huh? they're gonna Swear blow to up God. this giant metal door that it's sitting on. Where's that giant metal door gonna go when it blows up? <laughs> Away, because you blew it up. Duh. It's gonna blow- it, it's gonna crush the poor guy on the inside. He's Why do you think he's injured? Well, he's already dead. He's been in there for, like, so many minutes. I don't see any air vents <laughs> or anything. Well, like, what is he doing in there? Is he watching TV or something? There's not enough room for a TV in there. That's what you failed well, to maybe understand. Maybe he tweet. He's like, oh my god, would somebody please rescue me? Oh, lo LOL, 140 characters. <laughs> uh. You don't understand. So I really don't. <laughs> I never will. It's about sharing your thoughts and feelings. Or, you know, worst case scenario, the escort's just gonna get so depressed, he's just gonna turn that gun on himself. Uh, yeah. well, yeah. He's gonna find this huge exit wound on his head, and everyone's gonna be like, well... Awkward. That's awkward. Ooh, Raz <laughs> clearing out here. Not able so, to get... So yeah, there to... is a match going on while we're talking about Twitter, and... Oh. Okay, so driving hostages. But, honestly, it's not going anywhere, as... The defensive team is holding their uh, ranks rather strongly. What I do like, though, is seeing a five-person spawn. Okay, it's actually a four-person spawn. Not sure where the fifth is. I like five people spawns because that just means you can all push sort of the same area, or at least push at the same time. If you're pushing in through two different areas. And there's just, I don't know, a lot more, I feel like, on the line when you're pushing with five people. That being said, let's see if uh, that has any sort of fruit to it. Escort rocking back and forth. Energy from water. Energy from water. <laughs> Make it All right. stop. Yep, <laughs> they uh they hold that off. Only one he got gibbed in the process was Rob Wiz, who's getting a respawn right now. We're seeing uh Raz and Matt setting up as Crow, Chump, and uh Melikagu are coming out of spawn right now and they're gonna be regrouping with their forward thinking friends. Well, it's Pretty much down to the do or die point. This is the last real wave where they can get a plant and have it count towards anything. Um, All right, yeah, this is the last push. You're right. Wow, Rob was pushing out and saying, "Fuck you, you're not pushing in today." 
Two guys are right, down, um, Crow the, and Chump. The Chump and Crow, yeah. Oh, but they're here by themselves. And now look at you, Matt and Raz just respawn. Planting. Planting, planting! Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's pretty funny. I, I go over to Chump's point of view and he's like, multiple enemies spotted. Well, no shit, motherfucker, your entire team is dead. <laughs> our explosive charges are like our children. They require nurturing. <laughs> Jack Lemon, I'm so not friendly. <sighs> Alright, we're just getting some revives, but they're just not able yeah, to... Yeah, TM kills. shuts that down. So, 30 seconds, we are beyond a plant time, and uh, that will do it, folks. We will have to move on to Shipyard in order to decide who the fuck Which wins. Which cannot it. be a double full hole. Yeah, thankfully. Yes. Oh, Unless neither team Thank God for any. Shipyard. Yeah, no progress actually, at all. <laughs> I, I really like Shipyard. Dude, uh, me too. Like, seriously, I, I, I think it's one of the better maps. Uh, uh, about to see it for the, the second objective is really in balance. It's one of those things where you have to run 20 seconds on offense. Right, you know what, though, right. As, as a so light operative, brothers. I found it's we really effective since you're being shot at from ah, all sides. I was home. able to just, like, Benny Hill around the objective with my PDA out, just hacking away, running around it. I was taking damage, sure, but I was able to survive long enough to make it happen. All right. But yeah, guys, shipyard for the final map tonight. And unless the impossible happens, this cannot be a double hole. Cannot. Please. <laughs> All right. Award wise, we got Gnome, best overall. Soldier, Michael 3D. Medic, Gnome again. Engineer, Raz. And of course, most kills will go properly to Michael 3D. Considering his clutch plays, and uh, I, I kind of want to call him the lawnmower because he was definitely just raking uh, the kills in. So. Everybody, including his own team. Well, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, My, okay. should I be a little bit worried about this shop called In a Cup? No, I was I gonna worry mention about it. that. I was looking for some subtle thing to say about it, but wait, why are we in resort? Because they haven't call voted. Okay, yeah. I was reminded of that uh, Dr. Tran skit in a cup. Okay, so it looks like um, what's going to happen is we're going to have a reschedule because uh, we, we did kind of run kind of late, and so, you know, that's kind of awesome. The teams want to play, so we're going to get something put together. We're not sure when it's going to be rescheduled, but Ring TV will do its best to be there to cover it. And uh, unfortunately, I guess Matt lost his connection. Hopefully, he'll be able to rejoin us a little bit later, but... Um, that yeah. being said, so, I mean, you know, we we saw how, I guess, defensive that Brink can be, and it, it's a little bit saddening that, uh, that that's the case, but hopefully uh, that will be fixed soon. Soon, I'm hoping. Uh, that being said, man, uh, I, I felt like, you know, things went pretty yeah, well. things went really smoothly. It, yeah, from a, from, from a, yeah, that's from an administrator standpoint, things went pretty smoothly, and I want to say thank you to Raptor Gaming, uh, we will obviously have to hold off on awarding prizes to the winners until we figure out uh, if this finals match will be rescheduled. But um, we will, in the next day or so, going to be tallying up the wall posts and Twitter tweets to twitter.com slash raptor underscore USA and facebook.com slash raptor dash gaming dash USA. And uh, basically, if you have tweeted both uh, for, the, for the Twitters, uh, for the tweets, if you included at the Brink TV and at Raptor underscore USA, in other words, you've mentioned those two uh, Twitter accounts, then you are in the running, if you will, for one of the P3 pads as a viewer, and then of course the other viewer will be uh, winner will be selected from the Facebook wall post on Raptor Gaming USA. Yeah, I mean, geez, if, if we can just get. A couple of tweaks. I mean, I can see the potential of this game. It's oh, yeah. Just, it's so ridiculous. Uh, there's so many good things about it. So if, if we can just get some tweaks out of splash damage, uh, hopefully soon, Brink, I think, is going to take off. So I'm, I'm really excited. I'm glad that we've been here to, to cover stuff all week long. And we're not done, guys. Uh, we're actually just getting wound up. And once again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We had a blast tonight, and we hope to see you uh, return for many a broadcast here on Brink TV. I'm Grease Scotsman. Okay. And I'm Jahar. Good night, everybody. And of course, we miss Matt, but uh, I guess he lost his connection. Yeah.
Take care, He's folks. He's going to go celebrate his birthday now. Exactly. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe he got dragged out by friends. Anyway, uh, have yourselves a great night, folks.